What's going on, RBG Fam Bam? Welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new to our channel, my name is Vanessa, AKA the Heine. This is Scarlett, my best friend and my cousin's daughter. No one else is here right now. The hubby Robert, AKA ODM, is at home doing some work. Layla's not here and Elijah's outside playing. I'm currently at my best friend's house and my cousin's. They're having a little barbecue. And it's just me and Scarlett hanging out. Scarlett. So I'm gonna be here for a little bit. Um, they barbecued, the kids are going swimming, and I'm gonna head over to my parents' house because they're gonna barbecue and go swimming too. <laughs> so um, if you wanna see what this vlog entitles, stay tuned. Before we do carry on with the rest of this vlog, if you guys have not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also hit the bell button so that every time we post, you guys will get notified. I'm literally like running out of breath just trying to talk to you guys right now and trying to make sure that she doesn't get into anything. I'm literally gonna have a little girl soon like this. Hi, Scarlett. Say hello. Do you see yourself? <gasps> Say hello. <laughs> so here's the food we got going on. They made ceviche, some corn stuff that I heard is pretty good. And then we have some sausages, hot dogs, and some hamburgers. <gasps> And ooh, there's some left for me. I want a jalapeno popper. I'm gonna have to get that. And then cousin Gabriel just pulled up right now. It's gonna be making it's drinks. It's on. I'm hey, about to do it. you got me in one week, right? I'm about to give oh, this, yeah. get this think, baby out. I have a post-pregnancy shot just for you. It's, it's <laughs> wait, I got it. <laughs> Good job, Good job fly killer. <laughs> just kidding. Elijah, say hi. hi. The kids are out here swimming. Of course, like always. And then we have some games going on, which I'm not playing. Because I'm afraid that thing's gonna fall on me. Okay, I'm too afraid, man. You ready? We're ready to go to Grand Bird's house. See you guys. Bye. All right, fam bam, so we just pulled up to my parents' house right now. Pretty much just gonna be me and Elijah today. Obviously, you guys can tell Robert's not with us, nor Layla. So Robert is actually gonna be heading to the studio today um, with Money Moons. He is, you know, working on new music and stuff, so he's just kind of like getting his foot like you know back in the door he misses it and he's been doing some good stuff right now so i can't wait for you guys to hear it because it's it's pretty good so he's gonna be there tonight which kind of sucks because he's not gonna be with us he's you know always with us when we hang out at my parents house or whatnot i'm enjoying spending you know this time with my baby because I'm so sad, you guys. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting really emotional and really sad for him because once the baby gets here, it's gonna be just like a whole new world for him. And I feel like he's gonna be sad, even though he's excited for his baby sister. But I just want to give him all my love right now, huh, baby? <laughs> all right, guys. So it's Kai's birthday. Well, his birthday was like two days ago, but we're gonna give him his birthday card because he is here. You want to give it to him, Elisha? Yeah. Okay, come on here. Give it to him and say happy birthday, Kai. Hey, everybody. What's up? Hi. Oh, oh, no. Tell him happy birthday. Hi. Happy birthday, boy. Aw, thank, oh, thank you, buddy. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Yeah. How are you, gorgeous? You look radiant. You look really good today. Do you like it? Isn't it fun? Isn't it fun? Hey. Beautiful, gorgeous day today. Perfect day to go hit the studio. It's been a minute since I've gone to a recording studio. I work out of the pad every day. I got a little mic set up right there, you know, when I do my radio stuff, or, you know, I might do a feature or, you know, something here or there, a little parody, whatever, podcast. But the homie Money Moon's right here. He got a session today. Yeah. I did a song with him back in 2017. Was it 2017? Yeah, 2017. It's called summertime. Last time you're in the studio or what? Yeah, man. That was the last time I was in the studio. Click the link right here. We'll put it right there. I gotta feel the vibes. I think it's time. Give me a big thumbs up right now. You think it's time for your boy ODM, out of shade of brown, to get back in the studio? Who knows, man? We might find a track for me to get on, huh? Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. All right, guys. So we had to make a quick pit stop because I forgot. I gotta package for one of our uh, LSOB fans. He bought some merch a few days ago and I told him I'd meet him up in person. So we're meeting him right now. David, looking for you, man. That him? Is he in there? Yeah, it should be. Alright, let's go. 
Bro, you tripping? There's no one in there. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably asleep, fool. Yeah. You see him? Oh, there the homie right there. <laughs> <laughs> I get his face because of Cat Jenkins, dog. I get his lights played now, man. Hey, those are lighter shade fans, bro. Those are Money Moon fans. <laughs> What's good, homie? Hey! Hey, this homie right here, bro. I didn't know it was you, David. He come to all the shows, man. Represent. I threw you in a little uh, extra, bro. I threw like the LSOB. You got the beanie in there. Thank you got man. some extra pop sockets, and I throw an autograph uh, um, right there for you. Uh, Got some heater or what? Huh? Do your dance. Do your dance. <laughs> Money moon. What, what we doing? What we doing? Oh, he just came to the studio. He just came to the studio to drink. <laughs> so you know, I'm getting inspired. I'm getting inspired right now. Get around a bunch of rappers and some weed. Well, I ain't messing with that. But the music. Inspired. With all the numbers, it makes me think of like a Mad Hatter cake. I was gonna say it's an Alice, it's an Alice in Wonderland cake. Yeah. A very happy birthday to me, to you, to you. And I'm just saying happy birthday, Lukai. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. How old? Cha -cha -cha. Happy birthday. What's up guys? So it's the next morning, long night last night at the studio. It was, it was cool to vibe out a little bit. I hadn't really been to a recording session since I think 2017 since I did this song with Money Moons. I was really vibing, you know, it's kind of like getting back into the swing of things, you know, just being in that whole environment. Moons had actually picked a track out that he wanted me to feature on, like right there on the spot. And I was like, man, so I started writing. And I got like halfway through the verse, but it, you know, time was like expiring for a you know, studio session. And I was like, you know what, bro? I ain't even ready. He had just already knocked out a song and boom, now he was on this one, he wrote his verse. And I take time on mine and sometimes I'm just like, you know, I get not writer's block. I do get writer's block, but I haven't been in it in a while. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta get used to being back in, in just in that vibe. I have written a couple of songs already. I'm ready to record them and I'm really excited for you guys to hear them. When I came home, after I was writing, I think one of the biggest reasons why I was having a hard time finishing the verse was because I was like, man, the stuff we were writing about, <laughs> it was like my old ways, as they would say, right? I stopped in the middle of the verse and I go, man, I, I need to have a conversation. I, I got a family, like my, my son's gonna hear this, my wife's gonna hear this, you know, my daughter's. The content was, you know, bachelor style, you know, but still being aggressive. There's some other stuff that I did, solo stuff in late 90s where it, it was in a certain time, certain place, I, I really went hard. I was just, uh, you know, single bachelor and uh, it's just what I was going through at those times, you know what I mean? It was just all about money, grinding, and uh, women. I think that I'm at a point in my life where it kind of convicts me a little bit when I'm right, because I don't live that life no more. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a happy family man, and I respect what my wife thinks. I came home, had a conversation with my wife this morning, actually. I'm about to go get her donuts right now. And um, this is how I feel. And Vanessa was like, you know what? Hey, I know the real you. I know that what you write about, it's all entertainment and, and you know, and it's not something like you're actually gonna physically go do. You know what I'm saying? Like, and to hurt your situation. Uh, Cause if you do, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> but she, she got it and I think communication is everything, man. And, and that just kinda gave me the green light to be who, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be when I was writing that verse. Half of these rappers that rap, really don't have what they what they say they have you know what i'm saying on the yo i'm rolling in this i'm rolling in that nah man half of them rent that you know for videos and it's it's the truth you know it's just a facade that a lot of them try to paint i don't need to impress anybody you know what i'm saying but at the same time if i want to have you know a good time with some rhymes you know talk about what's really out there and what really goes on then why not anyway i don't want to rant on about this but 
definitely good vibes last night. I'm looking forward to more studio sessions and getting back into the studio. And man, man, I think it's time. Ooh, look at this thing. Good morning. Ooh. You have chocolate bars? Yeah, we'll do two. I'll do a white one and a chocolate one. There you go. Isaac, come here. Close your eyes. Stick out your hands. What is it? What is it? Open it up. It's your favorite. Donuts. Donut. That's mommy's. You like the sprinkle one. Get yours. Oh, okay. Oh, I got two of them, so good thing. Oh, uh, purple. Yeah, like Prince. I love to have that. One. Like Barney. Yeah. I want Easter. We just got done doing the Easter egg hunt. It's See? Easter in July. I've been hearing Christmas all over the TV, but I don't know what that means. What does that mean, babe? Why are they saying Christmas, Christmas in July? Christmas in July. It's like halfway to Christmas, so like on Nickelodeon they were showing like all their Christmas episodes. I get it, as to put people in a better mood because of the way the year we're going through. Kind of, but I kind of think they do it like every year. It's like July is like the mark of like, it's almost Christmas, six months away. So they say the mark of the beast. No. Guess what I'm getting ready to do? Who's ready to put together the baby bassinet? You can help daddy? Let's go. All right, so. Baby Chi Chi. Baby Chi? What the boy? What you been watching? <laughs> Disney, baby. We like Disney, huh? Yeah. So we're going to do this one right there, guys. All right, there's a better picture of it. Should have showed you this instead of the cardboard. But well, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Open it up. Elijah's been pretty good at opening things up. Yeah. Smart little boy. Watch your hand. You don't want to cut your hand. You should really let daddy do it. See? <laughs> So Robert had to take a quick little break slash detour because there's like one screw on here that for some reason is not going in one of the holes. But he went to Home Depot real quick to find um, another screw for this. So we had to take a little break. Let me just tell you, I'm exhausted. I have been having like fake contractions all morning, you guys. They're obviously not real because they're not like so close together, but... I woke up like at eight this morning and I had contractions like every four to five minutes for like a whole hour. And then they lightened up, but I'm having like really bad lower back pain and I'm officially 38 weeks today, which is Sunday. And this is when I had Elijah. I ended up um, having contractions and going into labor a day before my C-section date. So I told Robert, I was like, you know, we need to get up this morning. We need to make sure we put the bassinet together. I need to wash all of her clothes. I need to wash Elijah's clothes. Okay, come here. Okay, let me finish and then you can do it by yourself, okay? okay. I need to wash the baby's clothes to make sure that all her clothes are clean, um, clean. as far as like a newborn. Then his clothes, because he's going to be staying at Aunt Irma's and then probably my mom's for a night. I have our laundry that we just have to put away. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We also have the changing table that we have to put together. And I told Robert that I really want to go to Kohl's because I need to pack my hospital bag. And they literally don't have like anything to pack in it because I don't have anything that's really going to fit me because you're supposed to wear like loose clothing afterwards because I'm having C-section. So I need to go find like 
big shorts or big pants and the only big pants i have you guys are honestly don't laugh at me are the big pants that i wore when i had elijah after my c-section with him i still have my sweats and that was in february so it was cold so i'm like i don't want to leave the hospital in sweats because i know it's going to be hot so i'm gonna try to find some like big shorts or something i don't know i want to find like a pajama um set i need to go buy a new of like these little tank tops because they're like easy for me to nurse i need to go find a nursing bra i need to go find big underwear i need to go get pads sorry tmi but i told them that we need to do all this stuff today because i feel like she can come she can really come any day now i'm 38 weeks i didn't have layla until my actual due date my due date was june 13th with her and i was 40 weeks and i had went to see the doctor i ended up having contractions when i was leaving the doctor's office so I had her that day, which is funny. All right, guys, but um, we will catch up with you guys in a minute once Robert gets back. Do you have anything to say? Nope. Whew. All right, guys. So after all this mess, the baby crib, or excuse me, bassinet is finally complete. There she is in all her glory. It's right here, my little baby girl. A cuckoo, a cuckoo. Ow! I'm still, it's still surreal that I'm having a girl. I just, I, I don't know, man. I have to wait to see her face and her, just everything, man. Cause you know, I gotta admit, I wanted a boy in the beginning and I got my boy. God bless us with the boy. But man, look at the sun, how it just shines down on it. That looks cool. I'm gonna have to use this for a thumbnail, hang on. It's got like a little roller. It's got a little compartment underneath. To put a diapies and white bees. What's oh, the song? Diapies and white bees. Okay, baby, we're waiting for you any day now. Come meet me. Babe, how beautiful is that baby bassinet? It's very beautiful. I feel like it was one of those, like, did you see the sun, how it was just beaming through the windows onto it? I feel like that was like God, like shining his light, his light like, oh, like, <laughs> it was beautiful. I had a moment. By the way, there's a lot of stuff you don't see that goes behind the scenes. I mean, we make it seem like, boom, it's like done in five minutes, but really, we, I sped up the film so you can see, but obviously it took a while because I had to go to the store, but. It took a long minute, <laughs> almost like whole morning. It took a Morning minute. to afternoon. It took a like... minute. Yeah, I was like, I'm over it. Like, I need every minute to get this done. It was just that screw. It was just, just messing with me. And me learning being a handyman, I got to be a little bit more careful, you know what I'm saying? Like off top and gentle too and gentle like her dad always says like a vieja do a sub I'm like, oh. he just like always wants to get things done right away so he's like really rough and sometimes he'll break things not meaning to <laughs> always that's why they call me two minute driller <laughs> <laughs> that will sound right anyway uh, we got the job done just know that but uh, baby girl's coming as she's you know she mentioned it, it, this week you know, it, it could come any time. Eliza came in this week. I think we already said that. Yeah. But uh, you know what, guys? We're ready. I think we're ready. Mentally, we're ready. I am. Physically. And she's I physically ready. ready. I'm so drained, you guys. I know I keep saying it, but I literally went to two stores today, and it was such... Like, it takes so much out of me just to go to the store, and I'm just exhausted. On this note, we want to uh, post uh, our notification. <laughs> on that note we want to post our note on that note we want to give our post notifications shout out and that goes to the Herrera family hey. Hey, hey, hey shout out to you guys thank you so much for watching our channel Herrera. we love you for that if you guys would like a post notification shout out I was going to say channel shout out <laughs> and get, get, get on that channel. all you guys got to do is one subscribe to our YouTube channel <laughs> two hit the subscribe button <laughs> and when you're done just comment down below hashtag down <laughs> we love you fam bam so bye <laughs>